this in. He's like asking someone else for permission to go after like a client with someone else. And if that person agrees that they then want us to add him in to core on the team page, X, Y, Z. It's just like, why, why, why do I need to know that? <laughs> he says yes, then you send him. <laughs> Someday I'll make it too. You heard about him, so. Hunter. Yo, what's up, Dave? I think we might add. <clears throat> I think we might actually have to kill. Uh, we might actually have to kill Ben. Why? Um, I showed him that Happy Vegan Declaration Day thing, and he liked it. Like, actually liked it. I didn't hate it as much as you did. I know, but he's like, he like wouldn't let it go. Like, he <laughs> like loved it. Pretty much, like he's gonna, he's gonna. I think what happened is I showed it to him. I'm like, you're gonna hate this, because <clears throat> he, he could tell that I didn't like it, and so he was like, oh, I finally found something that Dave really hates, and I'm gonna troll him with it. So that's what he's doing. <laughs> that's so awkward. now, so now he, he he he. I think we might have to kill him. So now we might have to kill. Him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not kidding. We might actually have to kill Boone. <laughs> <laughs> Eat shit, you vegan fuck. <laughs> Even put it in the general chat. He, he fucking, he fucking tagged me and wrote Happy Vegan Declaration Day. <laughs> we might have to kill him. 
And the best part is if we just kill him in his apartment, like literally nobody will know for like two weeks, and by then his body will be so decomposed there won't be any evidence. My cat's doing a dumb. He found like a piece My... of trash on the floor. He's like running in circles around it, like rubbing at the ground. My cat, I couldn't figure out where all my cats were, so I always like to make sure I know where they are. And you just shake the treat bag and they all come, they all come darting. And he came out, and he Is wants more, but I couldn't, he couldn't figure Is out, uh, what? Are we trying to bury it? Uh, I mean, if it is poop, you want to clean it up. Oh, well, yeah. What? <laughs> so my, no, but my cat wants more of the treats, but I put the bag down and we closed it. And, um, he's just trying to get in the bag. He's like scratching at the bag, trying to figure out how to open it. He's figured out how to get, he's, he's figured out how to open some of these bags before though, so. <sighs> happy, happy vegan declaration day. Huh? Is it you said it's just his poop? It was the yeah, poop fell off his tail. Yeah, that's so why I said happy vegan declaration day. <laughs> Do I have to kill you? Do I have to kill you too now, or? I mean, good? we both know how that would play. I mean, are, are you going to be a problem with this, or are we cool? Um, I'm, I'm probably going to tip him off. I'm not going to stand in your way. Yeah, but if you tip, no. What I mean is, is if, <laughs> if I if, if I do it, are you going to like go to the police? Are you going to narc on me? Nah. I don't think you know much about forensics and stuff like that, so we'll see how it goes. <laughs> and if you if you pull off a perfect crime scene, I'll be like, hey man, that takes a lot of work and effort. Who am I to, to step on that? <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> hey, that, that, that's a hard crime to get away with. <laughs> <sighs> well... That's why Boot is a little easier because um, because he's such a shut-in. Yeah, it's so true. Like, <laughs> like I said, nobody nobody will know that he's been dead for like two weeks, and then by then, most It'll of the it'll definitely most of the only be like me texting him and like me being like, Boot must have pooped and fallen asleep for another month. Yeah. <laughs> or, like, or his boss is like Ben, Ben, Ben. <laughs> Ben, I don't know how to do your job. Come back. <laughs> uh, I, work I feel like I've just been like running around this entire time while playing. Where's Hello? my plastic? Oh, here it is. I did it. Hey, Colin. In a world. Where pee pee poo poo farty fart. Is that all you had? Yeah. <laughs> Gotta start somewhere. <laughs> How you doing, Colin? I'm good. I just finished work. Oof. I just, I literally just started work. Yeah, we just started work. Wow. Wow. 
Ugh, you make me want to die. Oh, don't do that. I mean, I get, I get to quit. I get to stop working uh, two hours early, so I only have to. Or really, you only have to work six hours today. But I'd rather work zero. I get off at one today. You know, you'd think that after doing this for four years, it would get a little like easier and less like existentially taxing, but it doesn't. <laughs> well, that's how they get it's you, the same. Dave. That's how they get you. It's the same. It's like, why do I have to be God? <laughs> why can't she be normal? <laughs> it's like, um, no. This is working for us? Hey, Colin. Hi. Do you want to see something awful? I don't know. I, I, I don't that was, know. That was my response last <laughs> night, too. I was like, I don't think so. <laughs> Oh, he sent it. Oh boy. Happy oh. Vegan Declaration Day. Off to a bad start. <laughs> oh, I mean, I omitted a, a portion of the title. Uh, it's actually 10 hours of Happy <laughs> Vegan Declaration Day. <laughs> 10 hours. Yeah, it's the best. Yeah, someone put it on a loop. So good. Well. I'm, I'm just gonna say before I click it, I don't think I'm gonna sit through the entire 10 hours. That's fair. If you could make it- if you could make it through more than 10 seconds, you did more than I could. I watched it for at least 35. I am very apprehensive about clicking it now that you've said that, but I'll, I'll click it. Okay, okay, what am I getting into? If you animals don't eat them. Yep. Well, I I got 35 seconds. I got through one iteration, one one rep, if you will. Dave, what you got against uh, what you got against vegans, Dave? Uh, I really don't like them. <laughs> Colin, vegetarians can't be trusted. You, last week we caught one siphoning the gas out of one of the company cars. <laughs> that's actually pretty good. <laughs> that's from man, that's from King of the Hill. Uh, the, the no. like, that rings a bell. <laughs> yeah, it was fucking like. <laughs> I watched like, every one of those episodes at least <laughs> eight to ten times in college. <laughs> Bobby, vegetarians can't be trusted. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. It's like the most unassuming kid of all time. It's like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Bobby. <laughs> this, is a, this is a fucking great clip. Which one? The fucking Bobby vegetarians can't yeah. be trusted. I posted it in a general if you want to. Yes, I'm streaming and I'm still going to go watch it. <laughs> that makes it to the stream. Can I have some rice and plain toast, please? My girlfriend Marie's a vegetarian, and she said... Ah, uh, there it is. I knew this was too good to be true. So, she's a vegetarian. She still likes lots of things I like. Like kissing, for instance. Oh, oh my word. Hank, talk to the boy. Bobby, 
Vegetarians can't be trusted. Just last week, we caught one of them siphoning gas out of a company truck. No, I was... <laughs> 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 Such an intensely good show. It was that's so good. Uh, I love it. Just last week we got <laughs> one siphoning gas. Like, what? No, that's not what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> It all started with a man named Boona. Dave showed him a video he shouldn't have. And now Boona is gonna be turned into some yummy tuna. Did you guys hear what I had said? Whoa, no. we summoned Boona. I said happy Friday. A long week. Happy Friday. Happy Friday. All our Friday. It's a long weekend. Happy Friday. It's better happy than Friday. Friday. Fucking you. Are you fucking me, Colin? Colin? We're not in. No. <laughs> Colin, we aren't in army, okay? We're not. No. I thought we were enlisted. I signed your name. How'd you know? <laughs> they didn't mind. <laughs> like, we wanted to get this guy for years. <laughs> Honestly, this they, they would probably be. It's like that scene from Family Guy. <laughs> you get a five hundred dollar bonus when you enlist a friend. <laughs> Done. <laughs> you guys looked at the open world sale on Steam. If there's anything cool. No. Do you know how long that sale is going to be going for? An open Until world the 31st sale? of May. Are you? Says. Okay. Wait, so I'll like, take a look at anything it. with the tag open world is getting put on sale? Not necessarily, it's just a bunch of open world games. Okay, that makes more sense. I'll check it out. Lands 3 on sale. I know you're thinking about that. Hunter Hunter Call of the Wild is $5.99. Forest is $8.99. I didn't like Hunter Call of the Wild, unfortunately. I didn't like Hunter dot dot dot. How dare you? Did you see that new jet racing game that came out, Hunter? You're racing jets. Whoa. There's like G-forces that can make your pilot pass out and you can use your hot ass with it. <laughs> it threw me off for a second. I was like, what'd you say? <laughs> Space NGs has their warfare update with guns and pistols and rocket launchers. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's gonna be fucking gnarly, dude. <laughs> Car X Drift Racing Online. I don't know how that's open world. That's on sale. I'm streaming Dyson Sphere Boon if you want to check out my base. Oh, really sick. I feel like I'm gonna be flabbergasted. Hey Dave, do you own Spore on Steam? I do. I don't know why, but I do. File. Odd World Strangers Wrath. That I might get. That's a that was a that was a sleeper hit game. It's three three thirty nine to get that game right now, and if you want all of the Odd World games, it's like four bucks.
Yeah, Stranger's Wrath is pretty cool. It's like a puzzle first-person shooter. Wait, which was the odd world that was the Western? That was Stranger's Wrath, correct? Yeah. I thought that's what you it was. You switch between like third-person platformer and first-person shooter like puzzle traps. so there's less lag. So I can see like what you're immediately talking about. Fucking Jamie's playing a game right now. On the clock. And to call his boss. Wow, you have three stacks of the red cube production, are you insane? Double. That one over there is for research. Oh my goodness. Yeah, dude, it took a while for me to be able to get enough mats just to keep these things going. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure, you have to fuck them up every which way. Yeah. Dude, your planet looks like a circuit board. Oh my god, you really did cover the planet. Uh, 56%, yeah. Oh my god, and all the other nodes are, are highlighted. You have some open land you, you can use for just like, pure protection. Yeah. Or like, energy. The issue is, is some of my like, largest open masses have nothing but like, a little bit of oil on them. I mean, oil is super important, so that in itself is a... Uh, I, I I see the oil seeps. I think that's like the dark side of the planet. Probably just build mad uh, mad solar panels. I was thinking about uh, building solar panels all across the planet. Yeah, that's that's what you'll do eventually. Once you suck that planet dry, you have the entire planet terraformed and used for and. and energy and then you have a uh, you cargo ship out all of your shit to a new planet yeah. and then you use the power from that the, the, the power planet. Do you like the uh, knowledge bridge? <laughs> <laughs> Is that full of blue cubes? Is that why it looks like that? Yeah. Oh my god, it's dense with blue cubes. Yeah, it is a knowledge bridge. That's hilarious. It's like miles of research maps. Yeah. That's so funny. You crazy person, and what? Are those feeding directly into the research station? It is. Oh, you're crazy. Is it even moving? It is moving. Yeah. You're crazy, dude. Nuts, right? I don't even do my own research anymore. Just the other day, we caught one siphoning gas from the work truck. Was he confusing vegetarian with, like, crackhead? Is that what the joke is? Hunter, remember when he said you weren't even sure if you'd like this game? Still not sure. Okay. This game's great. I gave you a shout out the other day. <laughs> Thanks, dude. Like, my friend Buddha bought me this game. He wanted me to be happy. Yeah, yeah you, have, you have 30 hours played, dude. It's insane. Yeah, that sounds about right. Yeah, I mean, it looks about right. Look at what you're, what you've done to your world. Dude, I only have oh my god, deuterium. So that's about right. 
Have you found out what you do with water yet? Right over here. Uh, wait, over here. Oh, yeah, you, you, yeah, you add them. You, you split the atoms. So I've got water sucking up here and here. And here's my primary water storage. Oh, the stacks of the big storage chests are crazy. We're oh, wow. It into sulfuric acid. We are then making into graphene, and the graphene is going to be made into solar cells. Pretty soon, actually. Wow. I think one of the few things I have to do is. Uh... Hey, shoot! Oh my gosh. Oh, shoes. You see, getting into planetary. Uh... We're gonna oh, be I launching stuff into outer space. Look at that synthetic polymer. What the, I should tie this into the uh, main base. Because this is what we need the most back there. <laughs> oh my god, you have that many donuts? Yeah, dude. I just let them Chest stack. Full of frosted oh, donuts. you know what? I think I unlocked tier 3 store. So let's. Oh, but I don't have any of these. I make any of what I have. Woo! This oh, file's ridiculous. Barbaric. Barbaric. Yeah, dude, I got tier 3 storage. Oh, call him that. Yeah, I don't know. I, guess it, I, I don't know what. I was trying to talk to him, but I guess he's having mic issues, so he just isn't interested in our inane conversation. Issues, like personal, like personal, emotional issues. Maybe I don't know his life all the time. All right, so this is what I was looking for. Maybe I'll pipe it down here. Build it here. want dude. Dude, I was gonna ask if that was seriously your cat. It sounded like a toy. It sounded like a nope. Furby going crazy. It is orange. My cat was chirping like crazy. Yeah. Like Duncan? His name's Carl. His full name is Duncan Carl Donut. Alright, can we agree on that? Yeah, I, that was like the first thing that I ever said about him. Your cat's name is Duncan Carl Donuts. It's not. Okay, well then, we're, we're just Enjoy not going to be believing friends on truths. Enjoy living in the cave. Gladly. Gladly. Pretty comfy in there. Enjoy the images displayed on the sheet. For you don't even know who came up with that. Lord, it. Gray eyes. It's not a sheet, it's the wall of the cave. It's not like they hold up a screen to project the images on them, they just use the cave wall. I bet Hunter doesn't even know who came up with that. It's the allegory of the cave. Yeah, no, exactly. No, who came up, who came up with it? It was what? John Wilkes Booth. Hunter knows. John Wilkes Booth? <laughs> yeah. That's pretty funny. He came behind Abe Lincoln and then blew out his thoughts onto the wall. And Dave, That's to answer your question, it was played out. Yeah. Nope. Under nose. It was Socrates, bitch. That's, that's not true. I don't believe it's Plato. Plato wrote it down, but Socrates is the one that came up with it. I don't think that's true, Dave. Um. 
I think I'm it is. I'm positive about that. One way or the other. <laughs> You're just trying to nail Hunter on a technicality. I mean, technically correct is the best kind of correct. Technically a douche is the worst kind of douche. <laughs> the thing is, scholars have always debated, like, the historical Socratic character against, like, the Plato-like version that he uses. So who, who knows if it's an idea of one or the other. But I'm wrong! Dave, are you ever not right? Yes, all the time. Oh, so right now's the time. Anyway, I'm jealous of your guys' uh, early dismissal. It'll be pretty great to be done early and you can sit back, smoke stogies, take naps, pet your cats. Determined to just like chill out as hard as possible today because I just got like $240 for parking tickets. Are you wow. serious? Yep, I'm trying to not let it ruin my day. That's wild. Oh my goodness. It's taking a lot of effort. <laughs> Is your parking spot not a real spot? It was not. I thought it was. It's a lot of parking tickets. I wasn't looking dude. close enough. What, did you just street sweeper stuff? Nah, it ended up being, uh, so I thought it was a, uh, construction zone, but that the, uh, date hadn't started yet, so I was like, oh, perfect, I can stay in my park here for a couple days, and tomorrow's, like, street cleaning, and I'll be also, um, at least everywhere else, and then, it was and then turns out my car was slightly over the line for a, uh, handicap parking. Inside. So they nailed me on that and gave me two tickets. Like hey! One after the other. It's like, yeah, I know that that's my fault and I just gotta deal with it, but like, that is so much fucking money to find somebody twice in a row. No, oh, yeah, someone's like, I want a Nintendo Switch, and then they like give you a ticket for the amount of that console. Well, thank God my uh, tax return came in. Now it can go right back to the fucking city. God damn it. Sure have have you there. ever not... <laughs> Do you ever, like, not have, my, like, uh... crazy tax over your head? No, I was I'm always sorry. something. Sorry. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, dude. That's life. That's life. Maybe you should go, maybe you should go to City Hall. And in protest Just of the ticket, with a no, you whip out a ukulele and start singing its vegan declaration. Day. That's my favorite song. I know. I was saying, I was telling Hunter that like you, you, you liked it, and then I have to kill you now. And then he wanted to know if I was going to tip off the cops for murdering you. And I was like, um, I don't know if you know much about forensics, but if you manage to pull off, like, a perfect homicide, it's like, that's a lot of work and planning. And, uh, who am I to, to ruin that? <laughs> but ultimately, I will tip off Buddha that you're going to murder. Which is fair. Which all seems fair to me. It was like, I'm dead! <laughs> I finally found something that I'm Yeah, right? I think he's just doing it to fuck with me. I don't think he actually likes it. Hard to tell. <laughs> I don't like like it. I just think it's not the worst thing ever. It's like fine. Like it's not like it's, like super like cringe shit. It's fine. It is super cringe shit. It's pretty cringy, but it's not that bad. What makes it cringe? She's playing a fucking ukulele. Yeah, that's it's 
pretty bad. There's nothing wrong with playing a ukulele. It is when you're doing it for ever? social media attention. Have you ever seen that morbidly obese Hawaiian dude who's playing the uke the and he's like, Somewhere over the rainbow! Like yeah, but he's, yeah, but he's, yeah, but he's Hawaiian, so it makes sense. It's relevant. Why are they? Anyone ever wonder that? <laughs> no. I don't think it's a native Hawaiian thing. I think it was introduced by, like, Europeans. Concept of fat. Now that we've killed your god, beans. get fat. <laughs> you know what we should do? We should write an article and write it in earnest and basically say that obesity is a European, is a European concept. Like, Europeans invented obesity, so it's a... White, white colonial oppressive construct, and we make millions selling that fucking book. People already say that. Okay. I'm not mad at it's, you. It's I'm hard mad. to come up with something crazier than people are already writing. <laughs> like the most blatantly untrue shit has already been out there posted everywhere. Happy Vegan Declaration Day! Whoa! Wow! Oh, that wasn't the thing. Oh well, I tried. Just I almost tried. Then I didn't. Now I feel bad. I tried one time. Didn't really do anything for me. What? You tried being vegan? No, I just meant in general. Yeah, no, we're talking more of general terms. <laughs> I consume way too many animal products to ever be I look at cows and think that they look delicious, and I don't stand a chance. I could do, I could do vegetarian. <laughs> I could do vegetarian, but I, I could not do vegan. Because vegan, do you think I that, like... Do you think that eating, like... Never mind, I'm not even gonna ask it. What? It's a it's a thought experiment, but it's pretty lewd and gross. But it's okay. a question about what vegans can and can't eat. Eating ass is probably not vegan. No, 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 no. It's not about eating ass. It's worse. Okay then. Is it is it just disgusting or is it mean? It's not mean. It's just gross. Like, can vegans eat like? animal come like it necessarily no. doesn't come from them suffering it comes from them being pleased no they don't want they they basically believe that any sort of animal like eggs are vegan even though like eggs 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 are literally just <clears throat> the menstrual cycle of a chicken like it doesn't it doesn't produce like they're gonna they're gonna produce eggs no matter what but they don't want to use any right. animal product so yes but animal they, jizz was don't not be vegan Don't vegans eat honey? I have no idea. If you're strict, maybe not, but it also depends on your definition of an animal. It's like, That's actually a good question. Is a honeybee an animal or is it just an insect? Do you consider insects <clears throat> animals? It's an animal. Is their byproducts except It's an animal. Insects are animals. All yeah. categories are are animals. It's not like it's a separate creature. To, like, fair. It's not its own familia or whatever. Didn't pay attention much in that class. <laughs> I remember what a cephalopod is, and that's about it. I like blacked out the rest of it. Vegans do not eat meat, poultry, fish, eggs, milk, or other dairy products, or honey, aka the staples of the human diet for thousands of years. Yeah. <laughs> it's like looking at the evolution of humankind and being like, mm, no. <laughs> it's the only reason our brains are so big is because of the proteins. What on earth did I pipe over? I 
got piped here. Oh, there's no input. I was like, why aren't you? What? <laughs> Alright, Buna. I am now mass producing solar sails. form a Dyson Swarm, which uh, goes after the stars and collects its energy. You know those are really dangerous, right? <clears throat> a Dyson Swarm could like fuck up an entire uh, civilization around that star if you're not paying attention. No, they're, they're, they're just empty planets. He's trying to harvest it for energy. Well, How do you know? that's actually a really good point. We're only on this planet <coughs> where there wasn't life. Well, there's no people. Well, there's no, a mess <laughs> there's no animals. Know. There's nothing in the ocean. <laughs> there's only plants. How do you know? Because <laughs> that's all I've seen and um. that's all I can expect. However, what Dave has really just brought into light is what if the rest of the planets were inhabited and by the time you get there your Dyson Sphere has caused like extinction events yeah. across the galaxy and you're like wow really handy that none of these planets are inhabited like ah, inhabited <laughs> oh, planets, no. dude. Eventually, you put conveyor belts to make the planets go to other planets and get processed into stars. What? I'm just talking shit. I was about to say, I was like, there's no way that's true. <laughs> I thought it sounded cool, okay? <laughs> Oh no, your mic's fucking up. Ow. It's all crackly. How about now, is it better? Yeah, now it's better. Yeah, there's a Kleenex on the mic that was making that happen. <sighs> Oh my god, it's happening again. It actually sort of loud. Ooh. Hunter, you're hearing that, right? Yeah, I'm hearing that. I don't know you guys made major malfunction. You just full of so much anger. What? Rage at your mic is spastic. I said, poor vegan, stupid bitch. We're not kidding, your mic is fucking up. Oh, it's fucking up even now? Yeah. Well, now it's stopped, but it yeah, it was stopped, doing but it. Yeah, it was, it was <laughs> fucking up majorly. <laughs> What's your major? Nope. Fuck shit, dude. Still doing it. Hey, <sighs> Doug, stop. certain areas of my world too. Wow, flattening it out. Yep. Because every time you're building stuff, like, you're either using soil or uh, getting soil by, like, flattening the earth out. And mm -hmm. I've netted up for a very long time, and now I'm using that soil that I've collected to fill in. And with, like, the ocean. foundations and stuff, parts of the ocean, yeah. Wow, you're gonna have a solid mass of a planet at some point. That's part of my confusion. How long should I plan on being on this planet? Um, until you get interplanetary travel, probably. Fair. 
I mean, there's like, you're eventually supposed to go to like 20 plus different planets and they have like different resources and shit too. Yeah. I'd say once you have all of your nodes on your home planet hooked up and they're like self-sufficient, like they're not gonna get like clogged up anytime soon. Probably requiring like a, like another layer of storage towers and stuff, but I'd say at that point you're you're good to go. Do you are you capable of interplanetary flight? Can you take to outer space? Oh wait, I could do this. You ever see something like this, Buddha? I'm, I'm not watching the stream at the second. Star Wars Pinball is VR only. Why would they do that? Am I about to crash out another planet? Goodbye, Kappa Christie is one, two. <laughs> you're leaving your planet behind? I'm pulling up your screen right now. Oh my god, you're flying around. Do you have enough fuel for that, Hunter? Look at your fuel. Yeah, this was a mistake. Do you have, like, fuel in your backpack? Probably not. Dude, you're not gonna make it back. Do you have fuel in your backpack? Hope so. Man, you fly fast. <laughs> yeah, son. So, yeah, I can go to other planets whenever I want. Yeah, apparently. <laughs> Never tried. Uh, maybe I should hang out by this cool vein until I see what's up. <laughs> um. <laughs> okay, no, you're stuck in the classic feedback loop. <laughs> How far am I from Bay? It's not that far. It's just the other half of the planet. <laughs> That should be enough. That was a sick little experiment, though. Really? What, to fly into outer space, all or run out of fuel and be stranded, and then head back and, like, be Dying. I mean, my plan was just to crash land on another planet. You don't need to crash land, you can just land. <laughs> just gonna need to be a crash. I, uh, I uh, thought it would be most exciting to incorporate a crash. It's because you're a big Dave Matthews fan. fan. Get it. Look at how much bigger that planet is. Planet gas giant? Can I even land on that? A gas giant? I, I think so. Did I fly inside of it? I have no idea. It's literally like all collectible hydrogen and deuterium. Wow. I am, uh, yeah. If 
fire ice. No ocean. Happy Davy Declaration. New Earth Defense Force game came out with like cute little chibi voxel characters. This does look pretty good. Maximum posted a video. Find the titanium within yourself. Hey Dave, if you start playing Runes RuneScape again, I'll let you be the clan leader and I'll give you five million gold. What? Five million? <laughs> Hang on, guys. I gotta greet the yeah. Morty Duke. I'll be right back. Dave, it's fine. I've given you over five million over time. I've given you like three million multiple times. Hey Hunter, when Dave gets back, you should just sing Vegan Declaration Day once to Dave and he'll be like, No! You're both infected. <laughs> Dude, this thing is so funny. I mean, being like, we have to kill Buddha. And I'm like, uh -huh. <laughs> Like, sounding so serious. Yeah, <laughs> like, seriously, it's like, we have to seriously kill him right now. It's like, no, you don't. Stop! To murder. That, that can't possibly be true. <laughs> yeah, that one plus one doesn't equal that two. <laughs> really doesn't. About that, Dave. So you should sing it to him. He'll love hearing it.
I declare myself a Buddha. Good day to me. Man, you really like that bit. people right here. I'm done with the game after this round. I can't believe it. Two AFK people. They might, they might pop back. Sometimes it takes people an extra second. Maybe they're like hitting their pipes or like sipping their coffee. Yeah, I don't think there's many people smoking pipe playing this, but you could guess. No, I'm, I'm, I'm like referring to weed. Yeah, but even so, not many people are smoking weed as you may think. Especially all, all the people, all the people in like Southeast Asia where it's like against the law. <laughs> hey man, you wanna get stoned? No! <laughs> yeah, cause getting stoned means that you'll get stoned. Like, in Japan if they find a single weed flake, you can get locked up for like 20 years in a federal prison. Like, they don't mess around at all. Remember when people would go to jail for like having an eight? Yeah. It was like considered intent to distribute. Them. Which is hilarious. It's like, oh, ho, ho, big money maker here. He must be, uh. He's pushing three and a half whole grams. I guess they're not whole if there's a half. HP, shoot him, shoot him once more! Get him! Get him! Keep shooting! Yeah! 
game set match. Do you know when the Diary of a Wimpy Kid, like, books were coming out and they're becoming a really popular thing? Like, parents complained. It's like, why is my kid, like, reading, like, about, like, a wimpy kid now he's taking on, like, wimpy behaviors and stuff? They thought that it promoted kids to be like that. It certainly didn't hurt. Well, that's why it's failed an entire generation. They're all wimpy. Dude, that's how you end up with cones. Bleep, 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 <laughs> bleep. Isn't he a military man? Is he there only for, for the paycheck? Yeah, that lucrative army paycheck. <laughs> well, I think, I think it's also that you get full bennies, right? Uh, I believe so. Right? It would be pretty absurd if the military didn't give you, like, health insurance. Like, imagine if if the military was like, nah, you don't need health insurance, let let the feds take care of it. It's like, what? Like, you are! You are. <laughs> it's like, not our department. Hey, like, remember you when that medic gave you some medicine? That'll be like 80 million dollars. <laughs> or you could stay in the army forever. <laughs> Why did I ever sign up for uh, The army's cool, you get to play with guns. I want the lasers. Hunter, no, you're not allowed to say that. They're gonna kill you now. You're not supposed to know about the lasers. I want the rainbow guns. It's like a neo pet weapon. No, mine's from Neopets. Yours is from Forbidden Blacklist Future Tech. Well, thanks for selling me out. Yep. I mean, the aliens asked, "What am I? What am I supposed to do? Lie to the aliens?" When I see an alien, I want to push him over and stomp on his head and have him explode like a sad. Remember in college when you groped me? What? Therefore you are cancelled. What Buna? I said remember in college when you groped me? Oh. Well, you were drunk. You're also drunk for me. And you were having a giggle fed. Talking about my uh, nicknames. Yep, that's what they used to call you. They used to call me Quick Pack. <laughs> yeah, they they uh, used to call me that a lot. There's this girl that, <laughs> they that used I to knew. call me that a lot. All right, Buna's uh, Buna's integrity is officially in question, and my job here is done. <laughs> but isn't that like oxy? Isn't that paradoxical? If I'm a pathological liar, who's to say I'm telling the truth about people calling me that? Like, even that, even that could be a lie. Am I lying or am I telling the truth? Yeah, puzzle. see, that's why uh, they're just gonna write you off as a lie. There's this girl that I knew in college, and I guess she had nothing cool to, to, to say, because everything she would say would just be a ridiculous lie, like, oh, like, I performed, like, in the background on this band's album, like, just, like, what? Like, just, like, nothing, nothing real to say. Weird. Okay, we 
weirdest thing I've ever heard. Freak! I'm a freak, what does that make you, fucker? Hey Hunter, you should quit your job and work at a candy store. Yeah, you're right, I should just sell penny candies. That'll, that'll pave the way for me. I didn't say sell penny candies, I said get like a retail job working at, at uh... Ooh. You wanna sell penny candies? Retail jobs, just sell retail jobs. Like, I hate all of this. Think about all the overhead for selling penny candies. to balance out lots of decimal points. Woo! Standing three stories in the air. You've never stood this tall. you never stood this tall. Stop saying things about me. You got owned, sucker. You got owned, sucker. Sucker. Hey, Colin. Colin, say it, it, say it in one of your Colin voices. You got it on, sucker! Thanks, Colin. Now you can go back to your Colin cage. If you're Colin, what yeah, Colin, cage, is Colin cage? Just, just smush a bit. <laughs> the Colin cage just sounds so comfy. It's probably got a bunch of blankets all over the ground and like little turrets and like little pillows. Turds? Turds! Like a guinea pig's cage. You'd love thinking about things pooping everywhere. I mean, it's just, it's just, just like one of my things, man. It's one of your things? Yeah. Wow, that's, that's even weirder somehow. I just, I just do what I do. Ew, stop saying. It's my duty to speak the truth. Blah. Blah. Boo this man! That's definitely from Drake and Josh. Josh, I love you. See you in math class! Slam! Let's see you in chemistry. Oh, see you in, see you in chemistry, yeah, whatever. See you in chemistry! Slam! <laughs> that chick was such a bitch. She's probably into, like, femdom stuff. Femdom. I think that's one of the only TV shows when, like, the nerdy, bully, antagonist character ends up getting fucked by the main character. Hey. Should have set a lot of records. <laughs> Did a lot of firsts. Remember when Me Megan was like, what are you boobs up to? Yeah. Remember she always called them boobs? Yep, I do. What are you two boobs doing? Are you, are you gonna watch the uh, reboot of iCarly? They're bringing it back. I don't think there's any Gibby or Sam, but there's Carly and Frankie. I mean, Freddy was, and Spencer. Oh, I was about to say, I was like, who the hell is Frankie? <laughs> I don't know these people. I, I always thought Freddy was like a bitch. I never liked that fucker. Yeah, I think you're definitely not supposed to for like a long time. Then they try to like change his character. Uh, dude, but then, like, it's still just like, I see what you're going for, 
but at the same time, like, this is, like, the high voice, like, footy pajama, like, wearing, like, tech geek, like, that has been well established at this point. Yeah, you, yeah, Freddy, you can't be cool, you're, you're always a loser, especially with, with, with the ladies. Yeah. Dude, we have a lot of episodes of Sam and Cat that we still have to watch. Remember when we watched it for like five hours straight? To be honest, probably one of our greatest moments. Probably one of the most fun times we've ever had in our lives. Wow, I don't know about that, but that sounds lots. That's sad. <laughs> That's really sad. <laughs> I like it when she stuffed the grapefruits down her shirt. Because Sam was gonna go jump over these like tunas that are like razor sharp piran piranha tunas, and Kat didn't want her to do it because she was wor worried about like like it being a dangerous thing, and so Kat locks Sam in the closet and then dresses up like like Sam so she can go impersonate her and do the stunt. And then Sam's like, well, we don't exactly have the same body type. And then that's when she stuffs the grapefruits down down her um, shirt. And then she looks down and, she, and she's like, oh, a bosom. <laughs> that show is not appropriate or relevant for any audience. <laughs> Yeah, because, I think that's because what makes any it time, Yeah, like anytime someone doubts like Sam like be, being a girl, she just like looks down like she looks down to the left at her left boob, then she looks down to the right at her right boob and she like looks at her boobs for like five or six seconds. What can I say? The show's not subtle <laughs> In any in any way. In any way. She's, she's like, look, look at my youthful, supple breasts. I'm pointing them out explicitly for you. <laughs> it's, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's a weird show. But it's a weird show. I'm, I'm pissed off that autistic, weird, like, little boy gets to have those girls, like, rub their bodies all over him. It's super gay. <clears throat> it's weird that you're weird. You're weird, I'm gonna... I'm gonna... You'll see. I'm gonna take you out to the ball game. Fuck you in front of the crowd. Clap your penis in asshole out. I don't care if you want to pout. So let's slap this shit out of We need to kill Buddha. Oh, okay. Sure. Word, I'm glad we're on the same page. Ortiz. 
However you want to frame it. <laughs> I'll, uh, you frame it the right Are you way. laughing because when I said tease, you're thinking about teasing nipples? That's also fun, but no. Seven tiers of like major sea towers. I'm not sure. I imagine when you have giant towers. I am back. Hey, Davy. Welcome back. My bowels have emptied. Are you sure? Can, yes. can I uh, take a look? I mean, I can, can send I you a, a picture. Can you prove it? No, please, please, no. You just said, you just asked. I changed my mind, I was joking. Hunter, check your Snapchat! I swear it's not my ass! I'm definitely doing that now. <laughs> Hunter, we, I, just, I just noticed you hadn't seen it, you hadn't opened anything in a while, and I had some cute kitty things to show you. Oh, Hunter doesn't love me, nobody loves me, I hope. Try harder. <laughs> The new Genshin Impact update that's coming out, they're adding sea travel. You can go around on boats and travel there. I thought that was already a food. Oh, Not personal bad. boats. Not bad for a first year of a game to add player housing that's like super involved, as well as like naval travel for like a ground based action game. Pretty simple. Ground based action game! Now it's adding sailing. You're gonna fuck the railing. It's. it's it's, uh, it's refreshing to see a game that makes billions of dollars actually reinvest into their product because, for example, Pokemon is the highest grossing franchise in the entire world, but you would never know it because they don't, like, increase the budget on the development for their games or anything. Like, like they could make the most involved game humanly possible because they have the budget for it, but, but they simply don't. They don't reinvest into developing stuff at all. Because they don't have to. Yeah, a lot of games get like that, unfortunately. stay home after I'm done working and like hang out and play video games or should I drive to my house and have a stogie on the porch? A stogie sounds like a good celebration but depending upon where you're going there's gonna be a shit ton of traffic dude. People yeah. are traveling for the weekend. Oh yeah, you haven't like even moved in yet, right? No. Why are you trying to have guests over? <laughs> you guys don't want to... He's not. I'm, a I'm actually gonna be really honest with you guys I'm actually really fucking upset that none of you just wanted to come over and see it. I'll come over and see it. Yeah, like Dave has a home, like a real home, like like, like I like my mother, home. like my mother messaged me, be like, "Oh, congratulations!" But she wasn't like, "When can I come over?" Like nobody seems to want to actually go over and fucking see it. It's a pandemic, Dave. Well, Dave, you have to, you have to, you have to understand that people know there's like a lot of shit that you have to take care of, yeah. like first to make it like a home. 
Yeah. And and it's also sort of rude to like try to invite. Well, like it's your mom, obviously, but I'm saying for for most people, it's sort of rude to like immediately invite yourself over. Well, considering like, that my mother contributed happy. like at least ten thousand dollars to help me pay for it, she can come over as long as she takes her fucking shoes off. I want to sit on your back patio so badly. That's oh yeah, that's another thing. Is this is gonna be this is gonna be a, a shoes off house? What are you Japanese? Yes. All right, there you go. Okay. I cannot stand people walking around with their shoes in a house. Oh, is my house not at home? <sighs> Kinda, yeah. Asked for that. I'm Japanese. Watching them drink water, watching every daughter, white man, 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 white man. Sorry. Well, I strongly agree with the romantic idea and the sentiment of like you're done with work, you have a long weekend, you have your home. You can drive out there just to like bask in that feeling, smoking a stogie at your home to like break it into being your new life in environment. <clears throat> but logistically, the, the, there's going to be a crap ton of traffic, so it might be best to just hang and have a comfy like unwinding from work rather than being stressed out by like being stuck in traffic. Yeah, that's the only problem is that I can get I can get to the house pretty easily just by taking Route 114. But once I get into um, once I get to the ass end of Middleton and start getting into Peabody, there's uh, there's there's a kind of a traffic crunch and it can be kind of frustrating. So that's why I was considering against it. Did I find what? Did you find out the deal with your brother? What's up with Tina's brother? Sorry. Did you find out the deal with your brother? Yeah, I don't think that we're chilling this weekend. You mean me and you, or you and your brother? Me and my brother. I think he's just unpacking, doing his own thing. And um, I talked to him last night when we were playing Monster Hunter. I think he's just chilling, unpacking his place, and then I'm probably going to play Monster Hunter with him. Yeah, no higher up on that Well, if you want to hang out. Get you. Same with Dave. You can swing by Dave's and see his place. So we make Dave happy. Make Dave happy. It's a crazy concept. It just might work. How's that sound, Dave? You know how to make Dave happy. There's a there, there there's a trick to it. Slap him really hard. No. He's like, I'm so happy now, thank you. No, you have to yank on his pull cord. It seems to really make him smile. Ding, 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 ding. <clears throat> if you yank on his pull cord and then tickle his biscuits, he seems to really enjoy that. I do like having my biscuits tickled, tickled I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> By his biscuits being tickled, I'm talking about his three cats. Biscuit one, biscuit two, and biscuit three. Una, I think you'd love my cats. You'd both love Yeah, I'd be like, oh, they're so cute and awesome. A chew, I can't breathe. Hashtag. Yeah, Dave, you should get a uh, AGPA air filter or a couple. Well, they're not going to be able, they're not going to be allowed in the basement anyway, so. So the basements, the, the basement and, and the patio are the official Buna zones. Pretty much. The backyard. Yeah, that's that's what I meant when I said the... Yeah, we're not letting them outside. I don't want outside my cats ever. Ever again. Me, Me and Hunter are going to have so much fun. I really so much fun. That. Let's play paintball, Dave. Have... No, I was thinking cornhole. Oh, dude, we could set up a target at Dave's and we could shoot the paintball gun at the target then. No. Please no. Why not? Uh, first of all, because the paint... Remember, the paint first, first of all, the paint, will, the paint will spatter, 
and also there may actually, I don't know because I haven't looked into it, but Peabody might actually have ordinance, ordinances against discharging any sort of like, any sort of anything like that. They might have an actual law which says you can't like shoot a paintball gun or an airsoft gun or any sort of gun. Just, oh, yeah. I can look into that, no problem. <laughs> Hunter, remember when you were seriously like, dude, we should play paintball in the woods by your house. I'm like, what, dude? And like, just leave like all these trees like splattered with paintballs. And you're like, yeah, dude, it's fine. It's biodegradable. Like, that's not the point. Yeah, that we'd get in so much trouble. Yeah, we would For literally what? get like arrested. I was uh, looking at an email, not listening to you. What's up? What? Your idea to play paintball in the woods by Buddha's house? Again, you just have to check laws. It's beyond any legal concern. It's just an inconsiderate thing to do. It's just like the woods that everyone walks through. The paint, the paint, the paint doesn't just come it's off. It. Yes, it does, Dave. You blatantly don't. It's it's not paint. It's food coloring and fish. But beyond it not being paint, it's, it's biodegradable it's, it's, it's and fully edible by everything. No, but it, but it's just a straight up like dick move. Like these like people enjoy these woods with their dogs. They just walk. That's what I'm saying. Like gonna within a day, it. it's gone. Because that's how it actually works. Okay. Well, take it from somebody who's actually owned and operated his own field. Uh -oh. You owned. You owned the field. I did not own it. <laughs> <laughs> However, <laughs> I did build it. I got permission to. You I'll built a it. field? Are you? Are you God? Well, you know, what say, did, if you build did you, it, they will come. Did you guys? Did you set up like the um, inflatable cover that they use for like the paintball esport that you see like the no, we death built matches? wood wood barricades, a um, lot of like crisscross pattern bunkers, stuff like that. Crisscross, crisscross. Oh no, your mic's doing that thing again. I don't know. Maybe I should just leave. I, I don't know. Hang on. You know what? Try this. Plug your Use mic. Your mic or and then just plug it back. No, no, no. Well, what I would do is unplug your mic, blow into it to try and get any junk out, and then plug it back in. That's what I would try first. Did I ever make these plasma so yours? Back, Buna. Thanks. Gotta fix it. Uh, hasn't it hasn't come back yet? I'll let you know if it does. So even if I'm not talking, like my thing's just like crackling. Yeah. Yeah. Your mic does sound a little better though. That you uh, that you uh, that you. We plugged it in and blew into it though. Like audio wise. That's in that's in that's in intradasting. Uh, Hunter, do you agree or am I crazy? I agree. Sound good? Buna, I have a six floor matrix lab. Wow, you're crazy. You can stack that high, can you build storage that high too? Uh, not that high. I think four or five might be my limit for storage. Oh, for the big storage, that's game changing, dude. You can set up a station, set it, and forget it. So, Buna, is there really no way for you to, like, preempt 
a visit with kitties. You just you're just gonna you're huh? just gonna have breathing problems the whole time. Is there no way for you to like preemptively prepare for a visit with cats so that you don't have breathing issues, or are you just no, going to have breathing? The only thing I life? like I I can be there and chill, but then just like all the dander in the air, like just like their existence will make me like sneeze and like eyes get all red and like hard to breathe and stuff like that. And all I can do really is take Benadryl for it, which makes me super tired. Yeah, but you know what will happen is you'll get super tired, and you'll lay down to take a nap, and all the kitties will cuddle you. Then he die. Uh... It's, per- it's the perfect murder, yeah, it's the perfect crime. I was actually just trying to be like, my cats are really cute and cuddly, but yeah, I guess that's true. Should, you you uh, should have got those skinless cats, those hairless skinless cats. I actually, cats, you know, it's funny. You know, it's funny. I joked about getting his face to Patricia. She thinks they look like weird and ugly and disgusting and creepy. I think they're adorable. The only problem with the only the real problem with them is they um they require a lot of a lot of advanced care because um yeah. because they don't have any fur, they don't have any natural oils, so you have to give them little oil baths. They're very they're very loving. They're they're really nice cats. It's just they're they require more more attention and advanced care than your average kid cat, so. Yeah, you have to moisturize them. Yeah, I mean, the concept yep. of a hairless cat is sort of strange for the average man. I think, she thinks they look ugly. I think they look adorable. That's hilarious. Buna, I um, now know the recipe for yellow cores. I think it's a yellow cake, and I'm like, oh my god, 2000's all over again. The media's lying again. There's yellow cores? There is. There are one, two, three, Golden cubes? There are five. Have you going to riddle me this? Right? If you going to riddle me this, why Why is it that uh, people actually trust the same people who were saying that the media lied about Iraq now say that the media can be trusted? Because Biden's the president. Oh, well, that's true. Because up is down, and down is up. If it if it if it suits their their biases, it doesn't matter. It literally doesn't matter. Yeah, what I find the most frustrating about these people is that they're so like blatant with their like switch like paint switching, and they'll go back and they'll like now a lot of these stuff. I'm sure you've seen it, you know, but a lot of these outlets have been going back and stuff editing all of their articles about calling the Wuhan lab theory a conspiracy. Wow. Yeah. It, oh, you didn't see that? It's the most bullshit blatant thing. I mean, the thing that really gets me is, like, how people were frothing at the mouth, like, fuming uncontrollably about, like, the, the, the migrants detained at the border. Like, it's still going on now. Do any of them care or hold the president responsible for it? No. Just such, like, like, like a disingenuous thing across the board that I don't, I don't even care. Makes me upset. But yeah, that's that's absurd because even that Fauci Fauci guy, what whatever his name was, was was saying like like things against it being like a lab created thing, and now he's saying the opposite. It's it's very very silly. It's funny because when he was getting grilled by Rand Paul about it, Rand Paul was like, "Is this person who received his grant, which I have the evidence of, like I have evidence here, which proves like that these people did get a grant to do gain of function research, like it, the grant, it's explicitly money from your from your organization that you were the head of, and it explicitly gives it to this person, this specific lab, for, for gain of function research." And Fauci goes. Doctor such and such does not do gain of function research, and even if he did, so like, in the, on like a, in like a congressional hearing, does that little state, little switchy switcheroo there, and nobody called him out for it. It's really weird. Yeah, I just think it's so bullshit that now they're like admitting it was from like a lab in Wuhan when that was like the most taboo thing to even mention. It's like they're tr- intentionally trying to drive people insane by saying it's a lie and saying it's the truth, or saying it's the truth and saying it's a lie. I honestly feel like it's just a test to see if they can get away with it. 
Well, they, they clearly can. No one's gonna do shit. All we can do is complain in a Discord about it. True. Unless Dan... Even true. that's risky. Dave, do you want to live up to your um, existence as the reincarnation of Vladimir? Uh... I mean, maybe. Start writing, like, pamphlets. Maybe I will. Do it, Dave. Start start the uh, second American revolution. Nobody cared who I was until I put on the beard. Nobody cared who I was until I was coming in your butt. Coming in your butt! <laughs> Nick Swartzen really that's is. Nick Swartzen's impression of so, Donald. Such an underrated stand-up. He is very funny. People know him as the gay voice dude from the one thing, or the gay voice dude from the other thing, or like he's like in three different things as like a gay dude. So well, funny, he's, not he's not even. He's not even yeah, gay. He's not even gay. Right, but he just has like like the super flamboyant voice. Yep. Which is yeah, hilarious he's that he can get like... away with that. <laughs> he was really funny in Grandma's Boy too. Wasn't he a gay robot in that or something? No, nope, there were no robots in gay that. Gay robot. <laughs> That's one of his characters. Oh, no, what are you something. talking about? <laughs> That's one of his characters from something. That's like one of his few few claims of fun. Claims to flame. See what I did there, you boys? I did. You yeah, it, boys. Was, it was very unsubtle. So yeah, I picked up on it. So Whatever. Right. Do you disagree? No, I don't. Except for Buna, but we told him to relax. <laughs> yup. <laughs> Dave gets it. If you're happy, you know it, kill your friends. If you're happy and you know it, kill your friends. If you're happy and you know it, and you really want to blow it. If you're happy and you know it, kill your friends. Yeah. 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 What if we kill you, Dave, so Courtney gets your life insurance? Um. Be interesting. I mean, wouldn't be much. I don't have a lot of life insurance. It's fair. You're young. Is the, does the value of your life correspond to the life insurance payout? Is anyone's life really worth money? Um. I mean, it's worth. It's worth beyond money. Just making sure you don't get fucked up at funeral fees. Dying is expensive. Yeah, especially me. I'm not on a cheap date. Could have fooled me. Oh. That was rude. You got all to the sucker. I can leave. I can leave it and never come oh, back. Just, just having some fun. Just jokingly with the flying. I'm talking. I'm actually. I'm actually talking to Hunter. I'm talking to Hunter, Buna. Calm your fucking tits. And I'm joking around with my tits are. Are you? Are you, yeah. are you Hunter? Are you? Doesn't are matter. You? You, you. you can leave if you don't like it. I don't like you. Wow. All right. Cool. You're mean. I like pizza, and I like pasta. But the creamy Dave's white sauce and some dick. shrimp is Hunter's a giant punter. Wait, 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 wait. That wait, was wait. pretty. 
this a, is this a fucking cannabis company? I hope it is. I hope it isn't because it's a waste of my time if it is. That's why I hope it is. Uh, You've crossed the line, Hunter. Well, okay. Yep, it's cannabis. We, my company doesn't market to cannabis companies, so. What was that game I was gonna buy? Bomberman. I'm gonna get the premium pass. Bomberman, Bomberman. Put bombs wherever he can. Bomberman, Bomberman, mass destruction across the land. Playing a bomb, it explodes on the new adventure mode. Oh yeah, Bomberman. I wonder how much they paid to use that jingle. Hey, Hunter, there's a new free-to-play tank game. It looks like it has infantry as well, which is pretty fucked up. Whoa, that'd be, that's actually really, really cool. Let's uh, get Dave to That's play so we it. can just drive over with the tank. I'd be down. Cool. There's a lot of um, positive reviews I'm seeing, but it says mixed, but I'm looking through the reviews and all I see is a sea of thumbs up. People are complaining because they can't log into their main account when they download it through Steam. Like the fucking well, same War of Tanks. No, it's the same deal as War of, War of Tanks. It's like people are mad they can't link their account from like whatever else it came from. Anyway, the game is called Armored Warfare. It looks like a more realistic world of tanks with, like, dudes on the ground, too, that have super shit. That sounds really good. Dude, your biggest threat as a tank is infantry. Believe it. Yeah, well, it's, uh, no, your biggest threat as a tank is your but... Yeah, no, you're right. Technically, it's... Uh, <sighs> no. But no, your, your biggest biggest, land threat your is biggest... infantry. Scattered infantry. The biggest threat is if someone in your crew... Farts or boops their pants. Boo, that just because you said that. If we ever end up in a world war to take crew, every every mission, the moment we get inside the uh, tank, I'm gonna boop my pants. Wow, you really showed me. I did. You'd be like, no. <laughs> I'll be like, yes, this is what I wanted. I tricked him. Delicious hunter manure. That's gross. Excuse me. Squeeze me. Squeeze me, squeeze me, then come and please me. Think I get tweezed, boy. Proceeding. Roger that, sir. sir. Yeah, my uh, friend Hunter's. He's really cool. That's what they all tell me. I thought they, I thought they called you checks. No, only the. No, big text. No, no, they call him Tex Max. Taxi Max, I was about to say Taxi Maxi, bring out the Lexi, let her bark and eat all your chicken. You have unlocked the logistics vessels engine, the reinforced thruster, and now you can use logistics vessels to realize a transportation of materials between planets. Wow, you can shuttle your cargo now? That's the end game. You can basically ship out all of your conveyor belts that you produced to a fresh planet. All, all I know is that the game that game kind of creeps me out because you're basically a von Neumann probe. Basically a what? A von Neumann probe. It's a um, 
It's a science. It's it's sci science fiction. It's, it's it's a science fiction concept where it's a like just an automated probe, and it's designed it's designed to kind of explore the galaxy and look around. Um, but it basically okay, consumes guys, everything. Guys, surprise meeting. No, it consumes, that though, so it's not bad. <laughs> it consumes everything around it in order to like power it. But it's been conceived of as a potential threat 